Welcome. There was a question on Facebook, I think it was. Someone asking, hey, um, how do I copy big files or lots of files? I don't know what the thing, what the issue really is, so I'm gonna respond in a general way. How to copy things from Arch Linux to a USB. So, and what did I do prior? I put in a USB stick and I went to USB. You have the image writer, which we do when we want to write the ISO of Arch Linux to a USB to boot from. And you have the stick formatter. So I've already done said, okay, take this one and format it. So that time is, is already um, not included in the video. That's okay, it's saving the time. And then we have this USB stick. So we can mount it, you can unmount it. It's a question of um, putting it in your USB. It's a 3.0, so it's also a uh, fast one. So it also depends on the version of your PC. If you're an old PC, maybe you're still on USB 1, you buy a USB 3, no. You will, not, you will not get the speed of the USB 3. You'll get the speed of 1, that's your bottleneck, the hardware. So if you have an uh, old PC with 2.0 or 1 or 3, because in, in the meantime there's 3.1 I believe, and other versions will come in the future. And we are dependent of, or of the hardware, what you have. Okay, that's one. Hardware of your machine, hardware of your USB stick, that's going to um, impact your speeds if you copy paste from A to B. And B being the USB stick, which is basically, take a look at this um, pathway, run media Eric. So it's not in mount or anything like that. It's uh, hidden away in run media and then your username and then the name of your stick, if you renamed it. So copy pasting could be as simple as um, using Tunar. And um, well, let's open another one then. Going to your home directory, say, okay, I want to have these guys, control C or copy and here paste and, it's, and you just wait. Now the question was how to do it fast. I don't know. You can do the same with CP command and say I want to copy data, for instance, CP minus R to this pathway, run media, Eric USB stick. Then it's going to be via terminal. But I would like to um, suggest you use rsync or grsync, and that's already installed on your system, and see if you like that. Synchronize files and folders, a GTK graphical user interface for rsync. So it's just an, um, a window that is going to run rsync behind it. So let's see if that maybe uh, can be your thing to copy paste elements to an external hard drive, for instance, as a backup. If you don't like the cloud services that we use, then that's um, maybe something for you as well. So this is so much easier. I'm gonna include the tip in this video as well. Check your keyboard, spacebar, to the left, alt, press it, keep pressing it, right mouse, click mouse, and then we can just drag it anywhere. We don't need to go to this corner. No, no, we just can do it like this with those uh, key combinations. What do I want to copy? What's the source? I'm gonna copy everything from data. That's a big file, big folder I know. And where are we going to copy it? Aha, to the USB stick. It's in here, otherwise you'll have to go to run media Eric USB stick. Okay, but it's, it's here, so it's easy. Run media Eric USB stick. So if we have the source and the destination, the source and the destination, the only things are these elements if you would like to um, have more um, preservation of the owner, preservation of permissions and so on. I suggest you leave as is and see if you like it, what the, the end result is what you want to have. There are sessions here you can create, so if you have to uh, do it again and again and again, the same session or after a clean install, then you can reload, import, export sessions that you've saved. So uh, copy pasting data to an external drive, for instance, is something you regularly do, then you can save a session. This is a dry run, so it's not going to do anything. It's just going to try it out. But why try out if we can make a full run? Go. So 
this thing is going to do a lot of stuff in the back. Here we see already the folder data coming and all the other folders are there. Doesn't mean that all the files are there. Are there. This, this is the file on the top level, but this for instance is just an empty folder. So all the files still need to go. Not sure if it starts with the first and then with the second. No, not sure, maybe he's just doing it his way, you know. Doesn't seem to be. Anyway, he's going to copy pasting everything over. It's just one by one and RSync can help you. Just um, try it out. If it's your thing, you can use it. All right, cheers.